Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Jar. We are returning. The Ganthrothor is going full. Oh, this probably isn't the Ganthrothor anymore, is it? I don't know what our carrier is, but it's blasting at full speed back to the volcanic planet. Because we have minerals to mine. And there's no better place to mine minerals than Jar. There's just always a spare mineral field or two. I am excited for this mission. I'll tell you why after we listen to people talk about stuff. Executor, the Urash is secured, and the UED has given up the chase. We are currently holding perimeter orbit over the planet Char. Zeratul, have you locked onto the location of the Callus? Yes. I remember sensing his power the last time I was on this world. However, our sensors indicate a massive, fluctuating energy signature at its location. I am, however, unable to identify the signature's source. That should be obvious, gentlemen. The source is the Overmind itself. When the Cerebrates merged together, they must have locked onto the Callus energies and nested near it. It's probable that there will be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky. But if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. Comrades, I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tazadar himself. You give me too much credit, noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Touching. Look, boys, either of these plans will work, but let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May Adun be with you. Alrighty, let's do this. We're gonna play a little bit of Zerg Toss. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I said this before, but you play as Protoss Terran, you play as Zerg Protoss. You never play as Terran Zerg. It's almost as if Protoss are the ones with all the friends and everyone else isn't. Just saying, just saying. They're better people. Objectively. <laughs> Alright, there's a base down here. So I had a thought. I had a really unique thought of compositional stuff. So, on this mission, there's going to be a bunch of Zergy Zerg. They're going to be all biological. I want to be able to fight them. And there is a pretty good ability that is just exceptionally strong against any sort of ground biological unit that the Zerg has spawn broodling. So what if I made a bunch of queens? But then I need something that can fight in the air. And the queen is a flyer, so we probably need a little bit of aid in that regard, right? Right? You hearing me? So, if we want to mass queens... Then does that mean that the actual correct answer for the unit that we supplement it with is the great and mighty scout? It doesn't have... Uh, we could get some Sarahs with it, obviously, to help out as well against stuff like Scourge. But I'm thinking that we there might be a legitimate world here where we could make Queen... Scout Corsair, and it might be good. And the very thought that this might even be slightly acceptable has gotten me so excited that I'm gonna do it. Wait, where's my gas geyser over here? Do I not have one? Alright, well, we're gonna be a little bit gas star, but at least the Zerg has some. Hmm. I'm just gonna. Nope, no gas over here. Alright, well, that does put a little bit of a damper in my plans. I think I'm going to need Zealots to hold off in the beginning stages. I'm going to get the Queens first. Reason being is it's a lot easier to tech up a Zerg. 
They don't need a whole lot of infrastructure. Send these guys over here, get all that going on. And just try to pay attention to the minimap. There's a couple lurkers over here. Is that a lurker? Did they just unburrow? I think they did. I'm gonna try to be very, very careful around those. But one of the reasons that I thought this would be a good composition is that this mission is pretty notorious for being the introduction to lurkers, and they just love anti-ground here. Like, there's a lot of guardians, there's a lot of lurkers as far as I remember. All that kind of stuff, I don't want to deal with it. So let's just ignore it. I think it's genius. Uh, let's get Gamite Mitosis first. Oh, Meiosis. Meiosis, not Mitosis. I'm so sorry, it'd be silly if it was Mitosis. I took Cells, Genes, and Evolution. I know. I know about all these things. Don't, don't laugh at me. High school was a long time ago. You don't even remember the difference. You're going to look it up, and then you're going to copy-paste the definition into Google, and then you're going to be like, oh, well, Grant lost his base. What an idiot. He doesn't know what mitosis is. He doesn't remember it. And he can't keep his economy going because his units are too slow. And you know what? I'm not ashamed of that. A younger, less mature me sure would be. But modern me is used to losing all my bases. Especially against the absurd Zerg in Mass Recall who can kill my bases in about four seconds. Plus, really what matters is that gas income, and we're still long distance mining it. Please listen to my excuses. We're probably gonna get attacked from over here now. Good thing I built that one single zealot to help out, right? Like, I was absolutely right that we'd need more zealots to help, and then I built a single one. And I love it that the decibel levels of the Zerg when they hatch are only about 30 to 40 decibels higher than any other thing in this game. It's like, all right, the world might be ending, but we really need you to know right now that a drone hatched. Really important stuff. It's pretty lovely. All right, Queenie. You come on out. We got that going. We're going to make sunks here once we have the drones. We just didn't have saturation to do so. I'm going to move this guy a little bit over here, and I'm going to try to keep my army halfway between the places. Oh, it's really hard to produce like this. This is why no one else has friends. <laughs> Having to, like, tab between Nexi and Hatcheries is just a pain in the butt. We're gonna get a couple of cannons over here. And then... Let's keep our gametes going. Not sure what that means, but... Oh. Yeah. Well, looks like those aren't gonna finish. Get over here and help. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Ah. You're going to see everything, and I don't quite have the energy. What is this attack? It's so crazy. The Zelts are doing all right. Where's an observer? We've got to bring a new one over here. I just built a large swath of scouts, which is bad. If oh, don't kill this. No, no, ow, got him. We held the cannons, they did it. And finally the scouts are out. <laughs> it's okay, next fight we'll be ready with the broodlings. I promise. It just, it takes a while to get set up. Hmm. All right, we're gonna build more cannons. <laughs> Uh, do we need another scout hut? I'm not going to need too many queens. Probably like 15. Is that not too many? And then, how long does it take? 35 for a Corsair, 69 for a scout. Oh! No! Sunken colony. Oh, they just walk right past. You can't do that. I still don't have the resources. Respawn Brutling. There, I can use my very first one. Got him. That worked out great. Your allies are in <sighs> well, I am in trouble. Zerg is quite a race. And I am not quite a fighter. Well, 
let's try to retake this. Hopefully the scouts, because there's not a whole lot of anti-air left, will be able to take down these. Ugh, Zerglings, man. They're just so obscene. I don't know how to... I can't win without them, and I can't win against them. But I was, I really wanted to be like, look guys, I'm not going to make a bunch of Zerglings this time. Even though I have access to them. I'm going to do something cool and interesting. And it just doesn't work. Okay, Spawn Broodlings really sucks. It takes like half an hour for them to shoot it off. That's good to know. Do I really only have one scout? Two. Alright. Well, I have plus one. Just don't even have armor upgrades. Hmm. Alright, well that was a good introduction to the mission. I'm not I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm just gonna gonna build real units. Turns out uh Let's go. What about Zergling Carrier? <laughs> is, is Zergling Carrier a little bit more reasonable? And by that I mean I'm just going to build Zerglings in the beginning of this mission, and then I'll figure out how to build late game Protoss later. <laughs> it seems like the best way to survive. That means we can take all this stuff really early. Get this upgrade. Oh, in this mission, carriers are disabled in hard difficulty. Got it. I actually really appreciate that they put that little note there. That's really cool. Because I would have been very, very disturbed if I had found that out later, as I was trying to make that my late game composition. So I'm going to use Majority Zerglings early on to just make sure that I don't die. I'm going to have myself in a pre-placed defensive position so that I can fight. I'll put goons on the high ground. Defenders over here, and that should be pretty good, and... Hopefully the knowledge of that first attack in combination with a more ground-focused composition will give me that little advantage I need to get into the mid-game without being dead. Which isn't really great. We don't have to fight the Overmind. I was thinking about fighting the Overmind, but I don't actually know what the defenses are like to get over here either. I know that in the base game you can just kind of walk over there real quick. Oh! They didn't go for the base that time. That's interesting. That's really interesting. And it absolutely has caught me a little off guard. Let's get this guy over here for vision. Well, I didn't lose too much right there. I'm not too unhappy with the way that that went. We gotta get the gas income going so that I can get plus two plus two on my zerglings. And besides that... I'm just going to try to saturate and build a good army. Was the next attack over here? I think it may have been. And that was the one that I built these for. I'm going to leave the army over here. And then the cannons on the left hand side. And that's going to make sure that I can be protected. The observer will scout if an attack is incoming. And then I can move my army to retaliate. I guess it's not really retaliate, it's just to react. Retaliate would involve, like, going and attacking them back, which I'm definitely not prepared to do. But from what I saw, there was basically no early, early game air aggression, right? So, pretty fine on that regard. I don't know what unit I'm going to build to fight the air. Oh, here they come. Was... Hmm, maybe that attack didn't exist last time. This might be more dynamic than I thought. Which would be very cool. I kind of feel like those were the lings that attacked with the Hydras last time. I might be incorrect. It's kind of hard to remember exactly what the attacks were if you're playing, because it's a lot more... intense. I think that's something that gets forgotten as a viewer a lot, that... It, the game goes a lot faster when you're the one playing it. Oh, we're getting attacked over here again. Interesting. But because we were in position, it wasn't really that big of a problem. 
now we can get some Ling production going and grab this over here. House saturation here. Pretty decent. I think I'm going to get 20 workers and that'll be that. I wonder if Ling Corsair is a thing. No, because you can't f you can't attack under Dark Swar or uh, Disruption Web even if you're melee, right? So that wouldn't really have a combo. Got it. I'm just trying to think about what would be interesting past my basic idea of Zealot Archon Hydra, which is just kind of like Zealot Archon Dragoon, but with a cheaper combat unit. Zergling... What cost gas? Can we make Dark Archons? I don't think we can. We don't have them unlocked yet. So carriers are disabled. Arbiters, uh... I don't think Zergling Arbiter is exactly a composition. I could be wrong. I am willing to be wrong, but it just I don't see the combo there except for the fact that it's Zerglings with another unit. Robo, Robo. We can make Reavers. No, but that doesn't hit air. Am I just playing Zerg because it's better? I might just play Zerg because it's better. <laughs> you know, Kerrigan's been saying a lot of stuff, but not doing a lot of stuff recently. Let's make her pay her keep. Oh, target down the lurker. Target down the lurker. Oh gosh, this cannon had like no HP. Thank goodness for Zerglings. Look at how different that is when you have Lings available. Absolutely astonishing. No hive available, so we are going to be stuck on 2 2 as the Kerrigan. Actually, that's interesting. Maybe we go Ling Archon. Alright, Ling Archon. That actually is a pretty solid distribution of minerals and gas. It has anti air that is pretty solid in the Archon, it has anti ground that's incredible, it has a tanky factor, it has a speed factor. I could see this working out. This is going to be the beginning of a great partnership, as far as I'm concerned. Great partnership that is not going to lose this area over here. Oop. I don't want to build that many zealots. Oh gosh, they just are constantly places. Probably should have built more uh, defenses over here, huh? Alright, this isn't working. How do I... Lair, hatcheries, hatcheries, build, these are finished, Templar archives, I guess I'll make some dragoons right now because I am a little bit scared right, that they're going to send a bunch of air stuff to kill me, and then we'll figure it out, and I guess I'm building my defenses over here so I might as well push, nah, it feels right to beat up the overmind. You know, I was talking smack about him before, I was like, I don't think he's a very good character. So I'm going to show you guys why that it's a very bad idea to introduce a character and have them be beaten up right away without them actually getting to do anything impressive if they're supposed to be a villain. You know, it's the Kylo Ren approach, and it's bad. Alright, that is a bunch of Archons on the way. This is 2-2 finishing up without any issues. Oh, we need you guys on gas. Forgot about that. And then there's way too many guys here, so we can start building a couple of these to defend. And if they're actually up in time, they'll be pretty good. Just doing a little bit of scouty scout here. There seems to be a lot of detection on this map, so I don't want to go too crazy with my movement. Oh, I'm supply blocked. That is one thing that's fairly difficult to manage when you have double supplies going on, is what to build where. And it's definitely one of the reasons Zerg is very nice, because you don't need as many overlords. That Archon was so powerful when he emerged that he lagged the game. That is impressive. Imagine being able to gloat to your friends about that. Yeah, when I spawned, I lagged the game. That's how my psionic power is like 93. 
I don't exactly know how they write psionic flowers. I know that like class 13 psionic form is what Kerrigan is in Wings of Liberty. I don't know if 13 is correct. It's some number. Class 12? I feel like class 12 is what they say. It's something in the teens. Oh, here come some friends. Got a couple mutas, but it doesn't matter. Because I remembered my anti-air. It's because in this campaign, I hail from Antioch. I don't think Artanis does, but it's the only province that I know in StarCraft. Or on Ire, specifically. In fact, I'm not sure that we're ever introduced to any other ones. All right, let's go. This seems like an army. Oh yeah, I forgot about. Where's my observer? Oh, it's so slow. Oh my God, seriously? Where is my observer? Oh, it's. <laughs> I thought it was closer by. All right, we're getting. Overlord speed, and we're getting Overlord sight because I don't trust the observer. It is really bad. Luckily, I have a million dollars. I can't really attack again, can I? Because I've lost my main damage output. How long does it take to get these upgrades? This one's pretty fast. All right, it's going to be a couple minutes. Uh, I'm not sure I can wait. Let's just go. I figure the observer's here now. I'll just babysit it. Everything else is pretty A-move, so the babysitting shouldn't be that hard. Oh, that's a spore? I thought that was a creep colony. Oh, come on. Well, this base is gone. That's good. Alright. So is mine. Base for a base is not a good trade for the player most of the time. We're gonna head back home. And then we might be able to clean this up with the Zerglings. No, not quite. But once the anti-air gets here, it'll be okay. We wanna get a good surround and melt them. They do have their plus two attack, which is pretty strong. Or plus two armor, sorry. On the ultras. And then we can take this base, which is going to be very nice. I'm going to use the Zerg to take... Hey. I said I can take this base. Oh, I pulled their guys from this side. Very bad. And lurkers. Nope, nope, nope. Pretty impressive from their side, honestly. They had a lot of power in that attack. I thought that the eight or so sunks that I had would be enough, but not even close. They shredded it. Let's get the guys over here. Where's my observer? Oh, it ran a little bit too far. That's all good. And then we go, boop. Come on over here, build a hatch. And then we're gonna build another hatch for safety's sake and because that's just a really big area. Then I think we need to build another hatch. Hmm. Do they keep trying to retake this area? That is the real question. Because this is a huge area to defend now. But, I yeah, they do. Or they attacked with an overlord. One of the two. How much gas is on this? 4,600. Definitely need that. Even if there's no minerals there. And then we're going to go... Big building energy. So I think what might be happening... I have a working theory on how the bully triggers in this work. And I think that all the attack triggers are set when the unit starts production. So what's happening is that... If you clear out a base, they will continue fighting for it for a bit because it's just whatever units were lost during the fight are replaced by the Zerg. 
and then they use that in order or so it's just kind of a trickle of stuff for a bit that seems to be my observation on how it works this is actually a really good army i might just go see what happens I'm dropping economy behind this, so it should be alright to lose some stuff. Oh! Or they got lurkers. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of lurkers. We gotta pull the Protoss back. They actually matter. You know, if I'm gonna be sacking my zerg units and doing stuff like that i'm actually fairly okay with it wasn't the worst fight in the world i'm gonna pull back for a bit be prepared for a counter strike from the purple or brown player i'm purple I'm gonna get my additional attack upgrades on the way oh they are well played me And that is that. I got the observer or the overseer things, so next time I push, I'll be able to have detection with me in a pretty meaningful way. And that's the attack that I knew was gonna come. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. Just distract with this ling for a bit. Oh, they killed the Archon. Alright, it's probably time to head out again. How are we doing saturation-wise here? Pretty good, considering these are starting to run out, so I'm going to have to send the drones over. We probably want to get one guy over here to finish off this mineral field. And that should be good. There's the guy that didn't help during that attack. And hopefully these overlords will provide a little bit of a better time. Uh, we gotta wait for this big round of links to pop out before we go. What else should I do? Shield upgrade. That seems good. And I don't really feel like I can tech into much from here. I don't know why I would. Maybe I should get Storm. Storm seems like it could be decent defensively. Let's get the High Templar out of here. He's not manly enough. You must be this durable or come in pairs to join this ride. There we go. Took those out. Turns out the real composition was just Archon Overlord. Easy peasy. Where's the Overmind? There he is. Oh my gosh, there's so many lurkers. Devourers. Spicy. That's some new Brood War unit tech. Looks like they were scared of the Muta as well. Do we have the DPS to take this out? We might. The Zerglings connect and it falls. The Overmind has been rendered inert. But we've only bought ourselves a few precious minutes. We must claim the callus without delay. That'd be funny if it made you do it still. Research complete. Great. Executor, the callus is ours. Let us depart this wretched world and return to Shakuras. Provided there is still a Shakuras to return to. Wait, we were warping in Colossus? That would have been... Well, there's actually a Scourge camping it. That's why you don't get Colossus in StarCraft 1, because all the warp in base were covered with Scourge. That makes sense. Uh, all right. Well, the Overmind lost its first... Or the second Overmind lost its first battle in StarCraft Brood War. However, I'm sure because you guys were telling me that it's good, that it will do a really good job of building itself up as a villain, and it will definitely win next time we see it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Peace. Oh, wait, that's not how I end the stream. <laughs> I've been messing up recently. <laughs>